Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have a rather unique and interesting new release from the younger brand Cali Ray. And by young, I mean newer brand Cali Ray, but it's also very young in spirit and young at heart. This is the Cali Ray Just Add Rays Universal Translucent Glow Booster Drops. These names get longer and longer each time. I have a lot of comparisons. We're gonna try it on a few different ways and even take it outside into the warm California sunshine where this brand certainly belongs. But first, I do wanna take a moment to say a huge shout out and a huge thank you to uh, community member Bridget. Thank you so much for uh, to Bridget. She took advantage of the super thanks button and made a lovely donation. Thank you so much, Bridget. This is the most a wonderful, intelligent, amazing community, and I appreciate you guys for all you do. Bridget, for the super thanks. Many have given super thanks and asked not to be mentioned, so to them as well. And all of you that leave your comments and likes and use the uh, affiliate links below, you guys are just the best, but a huge thank you to Bridget. Okay, let's talk about this right now. This is $34. It is a universal translucent glow, so there's not any sort of um, shades. It's just to give a warmth to the face or the body. It, it's really a bronzing oil. And I have some comparisons that I already started formulating in my head before I even got it, but it's actually a little more unique than I had realized. Now, I'm going to show it to you. It has a little dropper, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure to show it to you, but it, let's talk about how it could be used. And in the demo coming up, I'm going to show you a few different ways as well, and then just throw caution to the wind and just put it up it all over. Basically, this can be used on the body or the face. Um, it can be used over a finished look. So you can put it over your entire makeup look or just over your uh, foundation look, especially if you use a kind of a tinted moisturizer or a tint, you know, a glowing tint. You can put it just over your skincare if you're having a good skin day. Maybe add a little concealer if you want and just wear it that way. You can mix it in with a skin tint. You can put it on the body. It has a radiant finish. Um, it's hydrating. Um, it, it, it's an oil. Okay, this is an oil. So you've got to shake it up and it has an eyedropper. One of the only, there's two mm, slight problems with this. Maybe only one, depending on who you are. It's a little bit messy because it's got a dropper. You got to shake it up and you have to continually shake it up. I put it down then to the other side of my face and found I needed to shake it up again. It has also got a very strong coconut scent, which actually suits the product because it's so summertime beachy that it actually kind of works for it. But if you're adverse to a coconut scent, allergic, or get migraines, please be aware of it. Um, so you do have to shake this well. Um, and let me just show you how it works. So here's the bottle, then we have an eyedropper, and the way it comes out, I'm gonna make a mess. Uh, yeah, 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 see it there? It's got that, you know, uh, Beauty Blender had this on their, on their uh, foundation as well. Can you see that there? I wanna put down the bottle and show you here, but, Okay, so, you know, and this is going to come out, I'm squeezing the top, but it's going to come out whether I squeeze it or not. Um, so, you know, put down a towel or something because it, it's a little messy. Let me just show you what happens. Oh, it's all over. If I, <laughs> Let me just show you what happens when I rub it into my hand. Um, not too much, you're going to say. So let me just rub that in. But look, it warmed it up. So look at the difference. Oh, you can see that. This hand has nothing. And this hand, I just rubbed it onto a bare hand, obviously a bare hand. See that? just a little bit warmer. And they show it on different skin tones too. Now in my demonstration, you guys, I'm gonna be using the Say skin tint because I famously um, didn't, didn't, wasn't in love with the Calare skin tint, but I don't hold it against the brown, I just didn't love it. I do have it, but I didn't wanna use it, you know, and, and ruin things. You know, I thought of, there's been a lot of this type of product but not exactly like this. I immediately thought of the um, Drunk Elephant debronzing. You remember those bronzing drops? But um, when I compared it, the um, they're not as messy. Also a dropper, also kind of runs in a drop, but much thicker and creamier, if you notice. Same type of look, but a little bit stronger. Look at that, it's a little bit stronger. This one is gentler 
and thinner. This one is thicker, but you know, throughout time there have been drops where you could add in to foundation and make a foundation, right, more glistening or more bronze. It's not the, mo the newest idea, but it is done in a very unique way with this really strong summery coconut scent and this just kind of beachy look that Calorie has going there aesthetic. Um, it's kind of, it's, it's unique. And this is just very, very, it's an oil, almost like a, like an old fashioned tanning oil or something. Look at it, look at it go. It's just, it's gonna go everywhere. And just no matter how much of it you put on, it really does, it's almost like, it's almost like putting on a little bit of a fake tanner. The only problem with it is, and you'll see this in the demo, you can even almost like put it in your hair a little bit. The problem with it is it doesn't really dry down. It is an oil, so it wears like an oil, which is the point because it's supposed to be a radiant finish. And many of you will say, can I powder it down? I, I guess, but I don't understand why you would. You know what I mean? If you don't like that feel of oil, we'll get into it in the demo, but you know, you have to be, as long as you are the customer for this product, I think you're gonna like this product. So let's go ahead and go to the demo. Um, I'm, I have it on right now, I'm actually wearing it all over my face, but I am in the demo, you'll see I'm gonna take off any makeup that I've had on during the day, and we're just gonna try this in a few ways, and then just, like I said, throw a caution to the wind and try it all over, all over. It's just a big, it's a big crazy party, so stay there, you don't wanna miss this. Time to experiment a little bit. I do have a little bit of eye makeup on from my day, but I've taken a makeup eraser, nice wet, wrung out makeup eraser, taken everything off my face. There's no product on my face at all. Probably looks a little strange to see the eyes done with nothing else. We're gonna do a little bit of an experiment here and try this two ways. As you know, and as we discussed, this product can be more worn more than two ways, but the two ways that I think I would wear it, and I bet you would too, is either mixed with a skin tint or over a skin tint. You can also wear it on its own as well, which would work at, you know, which would work maybe with a little bit of concealer. Okay, but let's try it two ways. Let's try it first on this side of my face. We are going to put on a skin tint. Now I've cleaned my hands and because this is a tint and this is the one by Say, as you might remember, I famously didn't really love the Calorie. I still have it. Um, but we're going to use Say because I do like the Say. And I'm going to actually just go ahead and put this on gently, this side of my face. Because this is the side that we are going to add the new Calorie product over the top of. And so I'm just doing a gentle, uh, slightly clumsy, albeit, um, application of a light skin tint to one side of my face. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of a pump um, of, the, of this on my hand. We're going to shake up the Calorie. And this side of the face, we're going to apply them mixed together. And on this side, we'll come back and put this over, okay? Okay, here we go. Shake it up, that it's like opening up a big coconut. Now, I will tell you this, you guys, this is messy. All right, ready? I just mixed them together. That's why I'm using my hands, as you can see. All right, this side of the face now, I am applying uh, the Say skin tint. If you like the Calorie, you can go ahead and use that, of course, or any skin tint or any sort of tinted moisturizer. This side has the Calorie new product mixed in. Um, I actually, interestingly enough, do see a little bit of a difference. This side of my face looks um, warmer, would you say? Remember, this side has a, skin, a light skin tint and nothing else, and this side currently has a, the, a skin tint with the brand new Calorie Just Add Rays mixed into it. I did about three drops on top. All right, now let's try something different. You gotta keep giving this a little bit of a shake because it wants to settle back down. It's like an oil. Okay, so we're gonna shake up the coconut again because this smells fairly strongly of coconut. And what I'm gonna do now, you guys, is I'm just gonna put a few drops in my hand. This can be messy. I got it all over my table here. And we are gonna now add it over. Now you would think you would add this like a bronzer, but remember, it's a slightly translucent kind of universal shade. So you can just put it all over and it should warm up the skin. Okay, interestingly enough, can you guys see that? I'm looking into the viewfinder. So this side has more of a dewiness. Granted, it's freshly applied, but this side is a little more subtle, right? This side was mixed in with the foundation and it's a little bit more subtle. 
This side was applied over the top of foundation, really skin tint. Should I do a little bit more? Let me really see. This side is remaining dewier. It's had a little bit of time to dry. It's remaining dewier. This is over the top of already applied foundation. And here it is mixed in with the foundation. This is an interesting product. Um, again, not to be worn like a, um, I mean, I, I suppose you could apply a little more. Let's try it, shall we? Boy, are my hands messy here, guys. I, you would want to do hands. This is an oil. I mean, you could. All right, let's try something. Let's just go whole hog. This is a very messy product, but it's an interesting product. Now I'm just putting it over everything. Let's see what we kind of end up with. I don't have any concealer on. I don't have any blush. I'm just kind of using this as an all over, just kind of skin warmer to look like I've been out in the sun. And now we've just thrown it all away and just putting it all over. Because really, because it's an oil, you guys just do what you want with it. Put it on over bare skin if you're having a really good skin day. Put it on your shoulders. Mix, I, I mixed it in and then stuck some over the top. As you can see, it, it, there's kind of no rules here. All right, I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna fix up the rest of my face and we'll see what it's like with, you know, a full face of makeup. But um, it's very dewy, it's an oil, so it's a little bit greasy. You do not have to go as whole hog as I do. Could you put this on a brush? Yeah, I mean, it's an oil, so, you know, can you see it on my hands? Um, could you put this on a brush and just bronze with it? Yeah, you'd have to be pretty fair skinned though. Do I feel oily? Yes. But do I feel summery and beachy? Yes. Can you use this as an eye shade in the crease? No. Could you bronze with it? I, I, yeah, I, I guess, but I don't recommend it. I don't know, what do you think? It's actually really pretty. Um, would my hair get stuck on my face maybe? Let me, <laughs> in the wind maybe, it's not, it's not sticky, but you can feel it on there. Could you powder it? Yeah, but why would you powder down? It's kind of not the purpose, right? You know, it's like I have a friend at a restaurant who orders the salmon sandwich, and when they come, she says, yeah, but could it be chicken instead of salmon? You know what I'm saying? So could you powder this down? Yeah, but I don't think that's really the point. It's actually kind of pretty. Let me put on a little bit more makeup, and let me see what happens if I do add maybe a powder product or something in there. Let's just kind of give it a look-see, and then we'll discuss it. Okay, I put on some makeup over it, just a little bit. Powder blush feels fine. Let it sit for about a half hour just to kind of see what the product did. Um, it is still, I mean, it's an oil, so you know it's an oil. I don't feel like an oil slick though. It's definitely settled down and it took powder product over it beautifully. Put on a little bit of concealer here, took that beautifully. Put on a little bit, uh, I did not put on any bronzer, though this really is not an adequate product for bronzing, just because it's kind of a one shade fits all. This might be, if you really put on a lot of it, if you're fair skinned, but as you see, for effect, I really loaded it on, and it was, you know, more than I would on a normal day, and that was really kind of a little bit of overkill for a product that is essentially a, an oil, okay? Um, and it drops, right? I, so I don't know that it needs the bronze. I think it's very sunshiny. It's very summer. The coconut scent actually suits it. If you can't handle coconut scent, you won't like that. But it actually suits the product. It's a very youthful product and a very pretty product. This is the kind of product that you can definitely see someone putting over their decolletage, shoulders in a cute bikini, over their face. You know, it's it's a very young product, but it, it can be worn by anyone. It doesn't, uh, does it show texture? Uh, it's an oil, so a little bit, but not, not too bad. I mean, you know, when I tried on uh, the Chantecaille, um, that f face, uh, the eye and cheek glow, that showed more texture than this does, and this is an oil. I actually really like it. It's unique. Um, more different than some of the other drops that I compared it to. 
it is definitely unique. It is a coconut scented oil that is just kind of for shining in the sun in your bikini by the pool. It would look beautiful on shoulders. It's, I think it's actually really pretty. Um, I stepped outside in the warm California sunshine. After all, it is Cal Array. So let's take a look at me outside just so you can kind of have an idea of what my face looks like when it's glowing in the sun wearing this here. Um, and I think it's actually really kind of a very pretty look. It's a very different product. Don't powder it. I mean, you could, but why, you know? Um, and I think you could use this to, to touch up little areas too. I had a great time putting it all over my face, but could you put it just in certain areas that you want a little more bronzing on? Of course. It looks like it can be used in so many ways that you'd really never get sick of it as long as you like an oil and you like the application feeling of an oil and you like the feel of an oil on your face. Would my hair get stuck? No. No, it's not sticky, but it's it's oil. So if you have an oily complexion, I don't think it would be your product. If you have a drier uh, complexion, or you know, if you have an oily complexion and you really want that shine in the sun, it's definitely a beachy, summery product. That's what the coconut smell lends it to that. And it's very youthful. Doesn't mean it's just for the young. It could be easily for the young at heart as well. I think it's a unique and interesting product. Um, and I can see why some people wouldn't like it, but I actually, I, I think I'm gonna give this a good review. You've just gotta be its intended customer, if that makes sense. You know, if you're gonna to wanna to powder it, don't get it. If you hate the scent of coconut, don't get it. If you have oily skin, you can't stand the feel of oil, don't get it. But if you like that kind of sun-loving shine with a little bit of a tanned glow, go for it. They do show it on every skin type on the site as well. So um, kind of an interesting product. I want to hear your thoughts and what you guys think of it on me as well. So please leave that in comments below. The jury is still out, but I'm leaning to really liking it. But I'll answer any of your questions that you have below. Um, messy. That's a drawback. It's awfully messy. Um, so let me know your thoughts. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you do. And if you haven't already done so, for goodness sake, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. I don't want to miss you all in the next video. Bye-bye.